That's right guys, I am finally back on track. I came all the way from the future to bring you this uh, new and uh, exciting video about the Vive Pro that recently got announced at uh, CES. The hype is real. And yes, I know, I know, I'm late to the party. The reason for that is I was in Stockholm, Sweden, okay? And a developer invited me to go there to play test their game and give feedback on what they could improve. So that's why I couldn't make this video any earlier. I wasn't in my VR man cave to do it. So yes, today is the day. I will try to inform you as uh, uh, much as I can. I will be talking about this uh, uh, buffed up VR headset that offers many features we have been waiting for. Also the price, the launch date, the wireless adapter, the improved Lighthouse technology, the upcoming Vive controllers and uh, a lot more. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be an absolute blast. Be sure to grab popcorn and a soda because this is going to be a highly interesting video about everything you wanted to know about this upcoming Vive Pro. I do need to say though, I want to keep this video short, so I will not go that much in detail, but I will try to share as much info as I can. That's why we are going to dive deeper into the rabbit hole by hopping onto the official HTC website. So yes, now it's time to have some fun and jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go! Haha! <laughs> Here I am on uh, uh, Vive.com. This is the uh, American uh, website. So as far as I know, we can click on this right here. Yes. Yes. Where is it? Ah. Ooh. VR elevated in every way. The hype is real. So this is the one. It's almost like a transformer, right? It's blue. That's uh, really interesting. So let's see, what do they say? Vive Pro is the most capable and fully featured virtual reality system Vive has ever made. Designed to meet the needs of today's most demanding VR users. From expensive office environments and crowded arcades to the comfort of your living room. Vive Pro uh, surpasses the bar setting experience to realize the most immersive VR experience today. So here you got it. They said it once again for the most demanding VR users. So basically, all the uh, people on Reddit that said like, we need a better resolution, we need this, we need that. So they were like, we need to deliver to the real VR veterans out there. So yeah, you should be fine if you buy the casual Vive. You know, it's great too, but for the ones that are uh, spending so much time within the metaphors, this is going to be an awesome upgrade. So let's scroll down a bit more. I love these uh, fancy uh, videos. Spot every detail. See the difference with Vive Pro. The all new screen panels dazzle the eye and sweep you away into your wildest imagination. Uncompromising super rich colors and details bring objects to life like never before. So yes, as you can see, uh, this uh, headset offers a 3K resolution and that's a uh, pretty big step forward. It's not bad at all, it's amazing if you compare it to the first Vive they announced. Of course, in the end, we want to go to 16K because that's what we can see with our eyes. But that requires tons of PC power and we don't really have that yet. Or maybe we do, but it's way too expensive. So yeah, this is a uh, good move. It is. I can't complain. So there is some more info here. I will make sure there is a uh, link in the description below to the website if you want to check it out yourself. I will be doing a short video here. So let's keep on scrolling. Yes, uh, oh way, an optimized face cushion. Less light, more immersive. The redesigned face cushion and nose pad block, even more light, which uh, deepens your sense of presence while using Vive Pro. The face cushion contours to most face shapes with new uh, cloth lined foam while the nose rest covers any nose shape thanks to a unique flower petal inspired design. Yeah, the previous uh, face cushion was extremely cheap. I mean, if you were sweating a lot, it started to 
stink in a funny way and it also started to decompose a bit. That's why I always use uh, uh, VR covers, they uh, never disappoint, but maybe this is going to be a lot better than what we had before. I'm not sure if the price of this Vive Pro is going to be high, then we can expect better materials too. So we'll see. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I wanted to go to CES, but HTC didn't invite me in the end. Yeah, I know, I know. I could have been at the actual announcement, but uh, uh, things went a little different. Maybe next year. We'll see. But I will try to go to HTC's office to try it or maybe make an appointment. I don't know why they didn't really see the potential of inviting me to try it. But I'm not going to whine here, that's my problem. So whatever, let's uh, go to the next uh, page. Okay, never second guess, a step when blazing a new trail with Chaperone, the technology recreates a virtual outline of your environment, enabling the user to see and feel the current uh, surroundings without the need of removing the HMD. So when I saw the front of the Vive Pro for the very first time and also its trailer, I thought about uh, inside out tracking right away, but that's not what it is. Let's say if you got a soda on your desk or some noodles, you know where to find them because there is a feature in Steam VR you can turn on that allows you to see through those cameras and then you can just happily walk to whatever place you want and still be in control of where you go. It's just a glimpse into real life. That's all it is. Now, some people call it XR, so a mix of VR and AR. I personally uh, disagree on that. AR for me, is a HoloLens or a Meta. Show me the magic. What is this all about? Let's see. Crossing realities. Vive Pro delivers immersion unlike any other true to life precise tracking. Ultra vibrant colors and uber realistic sounds create a world that transports you to any scene in split seconds. With the highest quality of display of any VR headset, Vive Pro gives life to any realities. Hmm. Me likey. 3D spatial audio, that means that you now uh, get headphones with the Vive Pro. It's not really a gadget anymore, it's like attached to the headset. So uh, that's nice, it's uh, in the package right away. Re-engineered and optimized ergonomics. I think they are talking about how the headset fits on your head now. It's maybe easier to adjust, it's softer, etc, etc. Also lighter, because that's what I heard from a lot of people on Twitter. The headset has a better balance in weight. So that's going to be really nice for longer play sessions. Next up, we got latest Steam VR tracking system. I think they are talking about the uh, Lighthouse version 2 here. So uh, last but not least, we got wireless powered by Intel Ygig. I think this is the uh, wireless adapter they uh, announced but we will soon get to that, uh, don't worry. So uh, let's uh, go. Oh, these are the uh, headphones. And uh, it seems like we got uh, dual microphones that allow uh, active noise cancellation, as well as enabling alert mode and conversation mode, so you can hear your surroundings while being immersed in any realities without the need of taking off the headset. Ah, I'm wondering if these uh, sound uh, better than uh, the ones we had uh, attached to the deluxe audio strap. I'm not sure. So uh, yeah, dual microphones. Maybe uh, you will hear less breathing from now on. We'll see, we'll hear. This is just one of those uh, pages where I have no real clue if it's true or not, or if it really works or not, because it's sound, I need to hear it, I can't just look at a screen and think like, oh yeah, uh, noise cancelling, yeah, must work then. I don't know, I need to test it before I can tell you guys if this is really what they say it is. Thumbs up to the uh, website uh, uh, builders here, by the way. I really like what they did with the whole uh, page. I mean, you scroll through all these animations and screenshots and videos, you know, and it, it, it feels futuristic. It's really like VR is cool. Well, back in the days, everyone was laughing at 
people like me for being early adopters and wearing plastic bulky things on their hats and now you get this and people are like wow this is epic i want to join the future now so uh, anyway let's see what do they say designed for comfort vive pro is engineered from top down for optimized ergonomics just place the headset on your face slide the strap over your head it's done <laughs> what okay uh easy peasy what that's really fast the new strap evenly uh, distributes the weight of the device to achieve an optimal center of gravity, creating comfort in VR that is unlike any other. Whoa! <laughs> optimal center of gravity, increased point of weight support. Oh, wait, you see this? Oh, ah. Ooh. The blueprint lights up. What is this dark sorcery? 24% increase in face, gasket, service, area for lowered stress. I'm really happy they decided to go for the full package here. Now you buy a Vive Pro, you get it out of the box and uh, you are ready to go. Yes, but it will come with a uh, much higher price. They haven't really announced the price yet plus the launch date, but I think it will be fairly expensive. But again, this is for... VR enthusiasts and uh, developers that want to upgrade their overall VR experience. So uh, I am getting more and more curious here. Expand your horizons and invite your friends. With multiple base stations, you define the boundaries of your virtual world with precise tracking, expanded tracked space, and it's great for multiplayers. Ah, okay, so what they are talking about here is basically the fact that you can use your lighthouse setup with multiple headsets. So let's say one of your friends comes by and he uh, takes his uh, Vive headset with him. He can just uh, use it within your play space. So that means everyone is using the same lighthouse technology and it just works with a couple of headsets. I think this is even uh, more useful for devs out there that have a small office now they can just stand next to their colleague and uh, play test their uh, multiplayer titles. So that is super handy. I think most people don't have such a big space that they are capable of playing with like four friends next to each other. That must be dangerous. Like, hey, let's play uh, Gorn multiplayer. I think someone would taste a Vive controller if uh, you play with like four people in a tiny little space. But uh, yes, over here they are also talking about precise tracking. It could be a huge difference or just a small difference. We don't know. Uh, expanded tracked space. That means that if you got a, a larger space now, you don't really have an issue with tracking anymore. You never had, but you had to put a cable between two lighthouses to stay connected in the end. We'll see what people say when they uh, get one at home and they're like, oh, I can now just juggle with my controllers and the tracking is 200% uh, uh, better. Ooh la la, check this out. No cables, uh, you know what that means. For the first time, the best VR is available without a cord thanks to Intel YGIG technology. Experience true freedom and the best tracking experience bring it on so there it is this is the gadget we have all been waiting for this is the true competition okay the tp cast was a nice little thingy that people were using but now it's time for the king of wireless devices so what do they say about this odd looking device from another universe well they say that you lose the cable and that you will enjoy true freedom with the most powerful wireless solution unleash the full potential of your vive experience with y gig technology stand dutch fly whatever works prepare for untethered vr beyond 360 degrees yeah baby so this is what i wanted to hear HTC announcing their own wireless adapter in uh, collaboration with Intel. And uh, yes, uh, is this one going to be better than the TP cast? Maybe. It looks a lot smaller though. So it must be easier to carry around. Also the fact that it blows away the heat 
to the sides is really nice. And uh, last but not least, it's Intel. So we should have high expectations. The only thing I'm wondering is what is the battery life going to be? How long will we be able to use this before we need to recharge it? Is it going to be three hours or maybe even five or six? I don't know, they don't really say much about it. It's kind of suspicious. The only thing they really say here is that it's the most powerful audio and visual data transmission at over 60 gigahertz, and that the batteries offer long hours of VR freedom. That's all. It's really fake if you ask me, but we might have to wait for more info on this wireless adapter. There are so many VR enthusiasts on the show floor at CES right now, so there must be info out there that tells us more about the battery life. So uh, let's keep our eyes open. As I said before, this is a quick video. I just uh, arrived home. I turned on my computer and I'm like, okay, uh, so let's just see what this Vive Pro is all about. So if I'm missing details here or I'm confused about things I'm saying, then feel free to point that out in the comments below. That's why we are here to share the excitement of VR and also what we are going to get in the near future. So yeah, let's try to avoid any confusion here. So is there anything else we need to talk about here? Because usually when you scroll lower and lower on a website, it gets less interesting. Oh, this is Vive part. Okay, well, uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't really use Vive part. It messes around with your VR settings. I always go for Steam or uh, Oculus Home because Vive part is a mess. It really is. Maybe they like recently improved it and it works a lot better now. Maybe I should give it another try, but my previous experiences with this platform weren't great. I would love to hear your uh, opinion uh, on this. The content on there is also not wow. You know, it's always old content, but who knows? Maybe they uh, will be able to uh, spice it up a bit. And then last but not least, super hidden by the way, we got the Vive Pro specs. Why is this on the last page? Because it's super important. It's really interesting to have this list over here. What the heck? So uh, yes, we got the headset specs righty tighty here and uh, boy oh boy. Fab fab, screen, mm, me likey, resolution, nom nom nom, pleasure for the eyes. Refresh rate 90 hertz, field of view 110 degrees, we got the audio, the input, we have been talking about this, but uh, yes, Whew, that's a lot of stuff I need to compute and uh, I guess it's the same story for you guys. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up right now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. If you did, then be sure to slam that like button as always. Of course, CES never sleeps, so when this video goes up, it might be outdated already because there is so much info that pops up every hour from the show floor on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> it is, but hey, that's the world. The clock is always ticking. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you are interested in uh, getting this uh, Vive Pro. By the way, before I go, I need to boost up the excitement a little, little more because I heard that we will also get new Vive ones. These ones will be an improved version of the first one. Maybe the touchpad is going to be better. Maybe the grip pads are going to disappear or they are going to be at a better place so it's easier to press them. I don't really know, but I'm sure these will get announced later down the road, but they will not be the Steam VR knuckle controllers everyone is talking about. That's a whole different story. And now it's time to sign off and as I always say, and I see you guys next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye. See ya in the future. Ah, yes. Okay, I'm out of here.